In this video, we're going to go over what is origin in Git and why does it seem that there are two names to refer to a remote repository sometimes. So first, let's go and create a new remote repository. I am in my user, Anas Glukari, and I'm going to give this remote repository a repository name. I'm going to call it Amazing Project. I'm going to initialize it with a readme file and create the repository. Now, GitHub is going to give me a URL, which is where my remote repository lives, and I'm going to copy this URL. So we can see that I've created my remote repository, and the next thing we want to do is to clone this remote repository onto our local machine so that we have a local repository. So let's go do that. I'm going to use the git clone command and pass in that URL that GitHub gave me. And we can see that now I've created my local repository, which is also called Amazing Project. So here we can see the local repository. Now, because I cloned the repository, my remote repository and my local repository are already linked. So let's go see this explicitly. First, I'm going to go into my project folder and then I'm going to use the git remote command with the dash v option in order to see all the remote repositories that my local repository is linked to. So here I can see that I have a remote repository with a short name origin and it points to this URL. So we can see that my remote repository and my local repository are linked. But this can be kind of confusing because we may think that the name for the remote repository was Amazing Project and now we also have another name for it which is Origin. So what is Origin and why does it seem that we have two names in a way for our remote repository? Well. One of the names that we have for our remote repository is the name that it has on GitHub or on the remote server somewhere. This can be kind of thought like a project name, and in our case, that is Amazing Project. The other name that we have for our remote repository is the short name that it has in our local repository that is related to the URL of the repository. It's the short name that we're going to use whenever we want to push code to that remote repository or fetch code from that remote repository. And this short name kind of acts like an alias for the URL. It's a way for us to avoid having to use that entire long URL in order to push or fetch code. And in our case, right now, it's called origin. So what is origin? Basically, origin is the default short name that Git uses for a remote repository when you clone that remote repository. So it's just the default. In many cases, you're going to have links to multiple remote repositories in your local repository, and each of those will have a different short name. So why don't we just use the same name? Let me answer that question with an example. At the moment, we have our remote repository and our local repository, which are linked. But what if we had a friend that wanted to also work on the repository? Then that friend could possibly fork our remote repository. So let's go see that. In this case, I'm no longer in my user. I'm in a user called example friend. This example friend is currently looking at my remote repository, anaskulikari slash amazing project. And what they're going to do is they're going to go and fork this remote repository. So right now it's forking it, it's kind of copying it. And now they've created a new remote repository called example friend slash amazing project. And they also have a URL that points to this remote repository. So let's go and copy that URL. So now we can see that we still have my remote repository, which is at anaskulikari slash amazing project, but we also have a new remote repository at example friend slash amazing project. 
And the next thing that we want to do is we want to add a link from our local repository to the new remote repository so that perhaps we can fetch changes that our friend makes in their repository. In order to do that, we're going to be using the git remote command. First, let's look at the repositories we have linked. So we currently just have origin linked to our own remote repository. And now let's use the git remote command and add another link. So we're going to give that link the name friend. So the short name is friend. And we're going to pass in the URL for that new remote repository, example friend slash amazing project. So now if we use the git remote command again with the dash v option, we're going to see that we have two remote repositories linked to our local repository. One points to our friend's remote repository and the other points to our remote repository. You should note that both of them are actually called Amazing Project. The project name is Amazing Project. So now we can see that we have a link from our friend's remote repository to our local repository. So now we can see why we can't name the short name the same name as the repository name in GitHub because there's going to be times where we're going to have multiple people working on the same project but we want to have links to different remote repositories. Also note that Right now we can pull changes from our friend's repository, but we probably can't push to that remote repository because we don't yet have permissions. But that wouldn't be a good idea anyways for our workflow. So that was it for this video. Just a quickly overview. What we covered in this video was what is origin and why does there seem to be two names to refer to a remote repository. That was it for this video. Thanks for watching.